Hello and welcome back on the Flying Channel. The new Flying Stock Upload is now online and we start with a dope. So let's take a closer look. If you are completely new to Flying Upload, you can go to flyingresearch.net and then you can get here on top on this icon and then you have here set up POD uploader and there you can download flying upload local for your PC or for your Mac. You also find the installation guide here. After the installation and when you open it the first time, it will look like this. You can enter here your flyingresearch.net account data and then your modules will get enabled. Important to know the new stock image uploader is available in the pro version. You find this in the upload store on flyingresearch.net. We also have a free version of it where you have 20 free uploads without bulk functions. So just in general writing a listing and uploading, no comfort functions, but you can try it also in the free version. Then when you click on the stock image uploader, this window here will open where you have an edit where you write your title and text for your designs, photographies, whatever, and also then the upload section where you upload. You always begin in the edit and the first thing is to set your settings. Very obvious, you go to options, you go to settings, you go to auto login and then you can select here Adobe stock in this case and enter here your auto login data and then you have here on the second part platform options you can also select here Adobe and this is all the stock uh, stock Adobe settings you usually also have when you are on their website so you can enter here your language you can enter here your file type category and so on if it is grayed out it is not supported by flying this has the simple reason that for example when you click this is a symbol or this is an icon extra info is needed and this extra info is not supported by flying and this is why you can only select the ones that are here and what is grayed out is automatically selected default by flying itself here of course the important option probably for many people generative AI tools so AI art you can also select this here in our case we upload vectors so we don't need it in this case and maybe also important the submit here you can let upload all your works and then also let it submit so it goes automatically in review or what I would recommend especially in the beginning you can click here that it is just saved as a draft and then flying will finish everything but the submit you have to do in the end as I said it is probably better when you do this in the beginning so you can check if everything is alright and when everything is good and it go through you can of course also disable this option here and this is everything you have to know option wise and auto login wise for your Adobe. Uh, in the next tape we look at the listing and yeah how you load it in flying, how you can edit and then of course the upload process. It is an upload automation but of course before we can upload something we need first the file or files that we want to upload and also the title and text that we want to publish to a uh, Dope. And this is where the strength of flying really is coming out. So this means no data you enter here is ever lost. You can use everything again and also very important it is not bound to any path or any folder. You can use it where you want. The only important thing is you have here a EPS file that you want to upload. It also can be a PNG, JPEG, whatever and a XML file. This is where the flying data is stored and saved. That is what you type in here. You see in a moment and these two have the same name and they have to be in the same folder. This is the only condition. 
and in which folder you put it, it does not matter. Here I have my EPS files I want to upload. What I did is I made a JPEG version of it so I have a preview set so I know what is going on in the file, you know. And then I have here the XML file with the data and this is what you write in Flying and this is what I also wanted to show you. I delete this one so I have no data for this file. Then I want to upload the EPS version of it. So I simply drag and drop it in here and then you can see I have here now an empty file where I can put in my title and my text. For vector files no preview is available, it's technically not possible. Of course if you work with a JPEG or a PNG it is uh, the preview is shown of the image and then you can also see it here in Flying. What I wanted to show you is of course I can now write my listing but I have here a similar file that has exactly the same text, exactly the same title and you see I have here an XML file also with data. So I take the EPS of this image here, I drag and drop it in and then you can see that I have here my title, I have here my text and the thing I want to do is I want to simply copy this text here to this one here above and I go on the empty one, I click on copy. I want to copy from the second one, the number you can see here, I click OK and then I do one switch so it can save and then you see this file has now also the same title, it has now also the same text and if I look into the folder now also an XML file is created. I want to show you another possibility, for example this file again, I clear it so it is empty again. XML is gone, then I go here to profiles and what I did here, I created a profile with only tags for Gamer Girl. I click on it, I want to apply it to the current listing, you can do it also in bulk to all and then you have here the tags that you want to have and then you just need to, um, yeah, need the title if you want to. Of course you can also create a pro profile with title. What this should show you is no matter if by hand, with copy, bulk copy or profile, you can use the data again and it does not matter if you have one file or 10 files or 100 files, you can simply copy the data from one to all others or a profile to one design or all others. And this is how you can quickly prepare all your files and you don't need um, to write a listing for the first one, for the second one, for the third one. And these are all the comfort bulk functions you find here in the edit. And then when you have prepared your files, we are ready to upload. And now the final part why we are here. Usually the upload is probably the most annoying process and now it is the easiest. You simply take the files you want to upload. We have here an XML, so a listing for every file. We simply drag and drop them into the tool and then we have here a listing, everything fine. We go here to the upload stock. You can check here this, agree to responsibilities and so on and then simply hit start. And then your upload will start. Um, you can make it in full screen, then it runs maybe a little bit smoother and it is also easier to see. Um, you can also, for example, you could also work now in the background so you can now go back to the edit, you can edit more designs, so this is possible. You can let it run in the background, simply don't minimize it because when it is minimized, flying can't click anymore and this is why you should can uh, let it run in the background but you shouldn't make it too small or minimize it. And you see this was now the auto login process, the auto login data you um, entered in your flying profile. It is all saved locally on your PC so no third party or it is stored on any cloud or something. No, the login data and everything is encrypted and on your PC. And then I see I have there another one, another test file from the last video. Here now your first file is uploaded and then you will see the type, category and so on will be um, yeah, chosen by flying from your settings and then of course also your title and your text will be entered and this was already it. This was the upload of your first file uh, to Adobe 
and yeah i talked a little bit i clicked a little bit um, in the flying but i had nothing to do with the upload process and it will now run um, and upload all your images and then yeah it will simply show you an upload report in the end that everything was successful and you can see my hands are here so i'm not doing anything i'm not uploading and this is how it should go um, and this is what flying upload can do for you and of course we only upload now four images so not in bulk not in 10 bad tenor batches and or 100 batches or something like that of designs um, yeah and you can see how easy it is and i think this is also a good moment to say goodbye if you like this video then simply subscribe to this channel if you are interested in the flying stock upload simply have a look at flyingresearch.net or down below in the description and yeah hit like subscribe and if you have any questions you can of course also write it down in the comments and then i see you in the next video till then